I've been so fortunate to be on the mic, either on radio or television, for most of Dirk Nowitzki's incredible career. I estimate about 1,300 of his more than 1,500 regular season games. So as a broadcaster, I keep track of the numbers and chronicle the milestones and can tell you something about all of them. He passed Roe Blackman as the Mavs' all-time leading scorer with a jumper over the nets. Here it is. Yes. The Mavericks' all-time leading scorer is Dirk Nowitzki. He had an overtime three in Brooklyn to leap over Moses Malone on the scoring list. A dagger and a piece of history. Dirk is now a member of the Magnificent Seven. The 30K shot was in the second quarter against Larry Nance Jr. Here it is! The numbers, milestones, and achievements are all memorable and special, and they'll be tools we use years from now to tell the story of Dirk Nowitzki. But it's time to put away the numbers. Sports needs those numbers for context. But far more than that, these games and careers are about people and how they make us feel. And no one has made us feel in the way Dirk has. We've seen the journey of the self-proclaimed skinny, shy, 19-year-old kid from Wurzburg, Germany, who came to Dallas, Texas and became a man, a city icon, an NBA legend, a global ambassador for basketball. And he's taken us all on the amazing ride with him. My favorite question I've asked Dirk in interviews over the years is why did the relationship between Dirk, the Mavs, and the fans in Dallas develop into something so perfect? He had a first coach in Don Nelson who believed in him and a style that would ultimately revolutionize the position he played. There's a general manager in Donnie Nelson who discovered him and an owner in Mark Cuban. They both supported him through the challenges. Dirk himself has said maybe he represented hope for a long, struggling franchise. And so even in the hard times of his rookie season, there were ovations when he came into games. Dirk told me for a special on Fox Sports Southwest in 2018 that it showed me that people here wanted, wanted me to, to succeed. succeed. You know, I had to do everything in my power to, to kind of make that happen, to pay them back their loyalty, their love. So from one MFFL to the rest, you guys have been a big part of this. And our seat on the ride has been a wonderful payback. You guys are the best fans in the league. Let's get it done. Think about the feelings that we experienced and lived through together. The unbridled excitement of what it was like to be back in the playoffs and have hope again in the first few years. The Mavericks win! Absolutely unbelievable! The Mavericks have won, folks! The agonizing disappointment of being what felt like so close. The Miami Heat clinch on the Dallas Mavericks home floor. And this crowd absolutely shocked. And then the thrill of finally seeing Dirk reach the top in 2011. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. The first title in franchise history. I've never seen anything like it in 30 years covering sports. Yeah, every Mavs fan wanted to see the team win because they love the team. But it was extraordinary to witness a fan base and a city so unified in the spirit of, but I really just want them to win it for Dirk. Now we feel appreciation and pride and not only savoring the rare air level of career milestones. The wait is over to pass Wills. Returning to sixth in NBA history and scoring. But also because we see around the league the spontaneous tributes from fans in other cities who want to pay respect to a career and legacy of greatness on the court and loyalty, honor, and dignity off it. Dirk's no doubt a Hall of Famer on the court. But Dirk's Hall of Fame demeanor off the court is as big of a part of why we feel about him the way we do. We appreciate and recognize the loyalty to Dallas and the Mavericks. Even more than that, though, Dirk connects with us because of the awesome sense of humor, the honesty in interviews, the self-deprecating jokes, the goofy guy in the videos at American Airlines Center, the charitable and philanthropic endeavors, and the touching visits to the children's hospitals as Uncle Dirk. We can all be thankful he shared a behind-the-scenes view of those later in his career. We are uniquely blessed to have Dirk Nowitzki be a face for this city and region as a sportsman, a dignitary, and an ambassador. So thanks, Dirk, for taking us on this magical journey with you. The journey isn't ending, but soon it's going to look different. There are fun experiences that we'll still have together, though, because Dirk, the Mavs, Dallas, Texas, and us MFFLs 
will always be as one.